Hello everyone, my name is Gibby and um, I'm going to be taking you to a journey of art. Now this is um, a painting that I'm doing for GEW, Global Employment Workforce, you know, just to appreciate what they have done for me. And um, they give a lot of job opportunities, a lot of encouragement out there. And you see, I'm doing a painting of an abstract painting actually of a world without global employment workforce and a world with global employment workforce so first of all this is what i'm doing i am outlining the works you can see that this is a graphic painting actually so i'm outlining the works sorry about that i'm outlining the works so that i can be able to paint over them and so that i don't make some mistake as you can see, I'm drawing the head, the first man's head, the one that is going to be sad. That is the world without global employment work for. So I'm outlining the head, the mouth, the face, as you can see, the eyebrow and everything. So we're just outlining them. Sorry about that. I'm just making a lot of mistakes. I want it to be really perfect. So you see. You really have to outline them well so that when you are painting, you won't make some mistakes. Okay. Let's see. Um, I think that will do. Yes. And it puts some little tears to see how sad he is. He has, he has worked so hard and he graduated from the university. This is the storyline. He graduated from the university successful business guy but went out into the world to try and look for jobs opportunities spread some words and everything but he got rejected along the wayside and so the guy was really frustrated he was hungry at the end of the day he was poor he didn't know what to do he was just hopeless in every situation until one day he saw a bright light shine and he saw global employment workforce so he said to himself okay let me run over there and see how it feels let me run over, let me go over there and look at how they do their thing so when he ran over there he realized that there were opportunities there were helpers and there were people who would encourage him so after all, he had not wasted his life. So he was really happy. So that's why you can see the guy on the on the left side smiling. And you see a guy on the right side sad. The guy on the right side told, shows that the man is happy because he has been given opportunity by global employment workforce. Why the guy on the left side is sad because he has been rejected by the world. From his, he has so much ideas, but his ideas have been wasted, and his strength and ability to work has been discouraged. So that is why he's sad. Why the guy on the um, um, left side is happy because his world is better. His world is better because he's with global employment workforce. So this is the interpretation of this work is an abstract work. So you can see that we are still outlining, we are sketching. I'm actually sketching the work before I paint. I'm actually sketching the work so that I can paint over them so that it will look nice and at the same time I won't make mistake at the end of the day. Now you can see I'm drawing some blueberry fruit which represent happiness, which represent joy, which represent peace when you are working with global employment workforce. You can see the outline. You can see the trees and everything. The coconut tree. Okay. And we're drawing the circle. We're drawing the line. And then we'll draw a little cute bird. Which shows the bird singing happily. Da 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 da. Okay. So. We're drawing the outline. And we're also drawing different doors which represent doors of opportunity in global employment workforce and now we are going to be painting over 
the sad guy, the guy without the global employment workforce. Now you can see that I'm painting the background dark blue to represent how sad his life has been throughout all his years of hard work and he has been wasted. Now look, I'm painting it dark. Okay. Make sure you paint it well so that you don't leave some white colors in the background. Okay. Okay. You also paint the floor at the same time. Sorry about that. Laptop having some little issue. Okay. So we're painting the floor so that we can be able to create some highlights and shades so that it looks more realistic. Okay. You can see. Make sure you draw. Make sure you paint over all these stuff. Make sure you don't paint over the um, the woods. And we're done. Sorry about how the things looking blurry, but you don't worry. You'll see the you will see the result at the end of the day. So these are just the process of how I did my graphic painting. So this is the guy that graduated, and this is the guy with his ideas of. Um, this in business plan and now his ideas have been crushed by the world because they rejected it and they didn't appreciate it. He didn't have opportunity to really bring out everything that he wanted to bring out. Um, creating the branches, you can see there, it's looking a little bit blurry but don't worry, you'll see the end work at the end of the day. So I'm coloring the, I'm making the shades and the highlights of the human body where the light is coming from and where the dark shade is coming from now look this where the this is where the dark shade is coming from this is the guy that has been rejected from all his ideas and all so he's looking for how he can be able to make a living as you can see i'm painting him i'm coloring his body he does his face is not really showing because it's more like an abstract work like i said earlier okay as you can see I'm almost done with his the highlights and shade okay now I'm shading the shadows of his cloth and very soon I'm going to be painting over his trousers too okay now you can see that I'm trying to color his trousers at the same time In every painting, you must always learn to create highlights and shades so that the work will look realistic. Because if you don't put some shades and highlight it, it will make your work just look plain. So that's what I'm trying to do, make the work look realistic. Um, at the same time, it looks like a cartoon because I am more of I, an animation, it's a graphic artist. I create cartoon-like kind of character. So that's why my work looks more like a cartoon. Now this is the guy at the end of the day after looking for job and opportunity and free training and at the end of the day he's been rejected so the guy goes hungry and sad and tired of life and it's just like there's no hope for him so I'm painting over the guy that feels so hopeless about life. Now you can see that I'm painting over him I'm putting some highlights and shade so that it looks more realistic as you can see the, the work is coming out well okay but i'm doing the dark shade again and i think we are almost done with that okay now i'm going to the other side where he now finally finds opportunity and runs into gw which is global employment workforce i can see that i'm painting the cloud the clouds are light blue which represent peace and joy so i'm painting over it so that to look like this is the guy's life after gew he's happy he's fruitful his works are not in vain after so many years now at the end of the day when he discovered gew he's happy that's the guy right there the guy wearing red stretching out his arm to reach out to gew and gew stretch out their hand to help him and so 
that's him not right now he's happy joyful he's no longer sad and crying again now i'm putting some rainbow colors some yellow colors and some brown some dark brown to create some shade remember some shades and highlights always remember to put some highlights and shade in your work so that it will look realistic like i said earlier here is a graphic painting as you can see this is what i am doing okay um now you see i'm creating the shadows okay 